Today I'm going to be talking to you about camellia oil from Appalachian Valley Natural Products Anatolian Treasures. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about, about the company, then I'm going to talk about the product itself, and finally I'm going to give you my opinion of it. I'd also love to hear from you guys. If you've ever ordered anything from Avat or if you've tried camellia oil, let me know what you use it for and please leave a comment below. Also, if you like this video, please show us your support by giving a big thumbs up. Okay, so let's get started. The name of the company is very long. I refer to it as Avat, A-V-A-T. I've also seen it referred to as A. VNP. Now there's another website out there called Ancient Healing Oils and they kind of look like they are similar to each other. Now Ancient Healing Oils was and is still owned by a man called John Krosky and Avat used to be owned by a man called Butch Owens um, and it was a wholesale only company. Well eventually Butch retired and John got the company. He kept these two companies as two distinct entities. However, he did make one important change, and that is when he kept the wholesale pricing, he did open it up to the public. So that's pretty cool. I don't have a business, um, and I only use essential oils for myself and my family, and I know many wholesale companies out there require you to have a business, if not a business license on file, and they don't do that. They also have no minimum order. So in fact, in order to get free shipping within the continental US, you only need to purchase $35 worth of products. And with every order, you also get three free samples of the 75 cent variety, and there's two different kinds. So their carrier oils come like this, and this is actually filled here to the shoulder. They say that they give you one milliliter, and I feel like they're giving you a lot more. Um, sometimes they're filled a little less down to here, but I really feel like these containers are, and are here as well, are five milliliters, and one of these days I will try to measure them. And for their essential oils, they come in these, and they're screw off tops here, and they give you three tenths of a milliliter, which is, if you guys can see the label, it comes to the bottom of the label, so it's really not that much essential oil, but it is only 75 cents. And of course, his more precious oils are going to be more expensive, but sometimes he actually goes below cost because he believes that everyone should be able to try these oils. Now there is another company out there called Eden Botanicals, and they also have samples. Their samples are actually cheaper if you break it down. So for them, uh, if you purchase one milliliter, then it's only $2. But with Avat, there's two reasons I've been purchasing from them. The first is, even though it's more expensive, like to get one milliliter of essential oil, I would have to pay $2.25, I can try three different products. And in addition, in order to get free shipping with Avat, I only need to purchase $35 worth of products, whereas Eden Botanical has it as $49. Now, with that being said, I still have a wish list of products that I would like to try from Eden Botanicals. Um, I do like com to price compare, and also, there's not one company out there that's going to have every single essential oil that I want to try. So I do uh, purchase from a variety of different companies. I know there's not... You know, there's no one company that only has pure products. Like these MLMs will say they're only the only one in the entire world that has pure essential oils. They're totally lying through their teeth. Now, with Avat, there are a few ways that they keep their costs down. So like I said, they're wholesale. But if you look at their website, it's super, super basic. Um, I found out about through Avat through a Facebook group, which has since been closed by Facebook. But I'm going to link to it below just in case, I don't know, they decide to be nice and open it back up. But in my searches, like my internet searches or Google searches, Avat never came up. You know, you would come up with the MLMs, the Plant Therapy and Eden Garden. And I looked at their website, and if you compare it to Plant Therapy and Eden Garden, it's very, very basic. So they use stock photos. They're not going to show pictures of their labels. And their labels here, if you guys can see, they're very basic. They have four colors. They've got black, brown, red, and blue. They're probably printed off of a computer. Um, they have information on their website. They do have the country of origin. They have the extraction method, whether it's cold pressed or steam distilled or what have you, the refinement, refined or unrefined. They also have the agricultural if it's important, such as wild crafted or organic. They do have the GCMS test results. They are done in-house, um, but I believe it comes down to whether or not you trust the company. They also have a basic description and some reviews. Now these reviews are entered by him somehow. Uh, there's no place for people to leave their own reviews. And I've, I'm imagining that he gets this from emails or social media. And he does have two social media accounts. He's got um, Instagram and Facebook, and those are rarely updated. In my opinion, from what I've seen, it seems like a vat is more of a family affair. I don't think he has social media managers or, or things like that. I don't think he has a, like a team of people working for him. Um, there is another way that he saves money, and I like it. 
more for the environment, kind of using what you have. So he gets boxes from the local high school and they're located in a small town. So rather than purchasing new boxes or envelopes or whatever in order to package up the products or the orders, he takes the packages, sorry, he takes the boxes from the local high school. So I like the fact that he's getting use out of an item that would just ordinarily go to the recycling bin and I'm sure he's saving money and he's passing on those savings to us. Now, if you order from him, there are two ways to order. You can either log in, or so you can just go as a guest and check out as a guest, but if you create an account and you log in, what happens is you have more options available. So everyone can get samples and milliliters, but if you create an account, then you have the ounce options. Now, with the ounces, there are no Euro droppers. There's no um, orifice reducers in the top of the essential oils. So this is good for people who are using large amounts and maybe going by weight or people who prefer to use pipettes. I don't, <clears throat> I just drop the, uh, the drops into my diffuser. I mainly use essential oils through diffusion and I do use intermittent diffusion, which is on again and off again. Um, I got one bottle of spearmint, it was one ounce and it was a few pennies cheaper than the 20 milliliter size. And I forgot that it was only essential oil that I had that didn't have a Euro dropper and I dumped a lot into my diffuser. I wasn't that upset about the price because as I mentioned, his prices are very good. But my entire house smelled like toothpaste and I just have a negative connotation of, of spearmint now. It's kind of ruined it for me. I ended up giving that bottle away. But So those are the options if you want to order from him. So that's a lot of information about that and I want to talk about the product. So this is Camellia Oil. And I've heard of this before. The shelf life is two years and there are three types of Camellia Oil out there. Um, I'm going to put the names below because I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce them, but this one is known as tea seed oil. Like I know there's Japanese, uh, there's the Japanese one and the Camille one, but this is the tea seed oil. And what it seems to be good for is it's really good for skincare. So this is actually cold pressed and wild crafted and it's from China, which when I purchased this, I kind of had different... I feel like I'm learning information new, you know, new information all the time. I'm not sure if I would purchase it again because it's in China. I know that there are different standards in China and I know that there are a lot of amazing companies in, out there. Um, but there's also, it's just very different in China. Um, and it's very light and it's supposed to penetrate your skin super easily. It is known for helping with wrinkles and anti-aging and things like that. It's also high in oleic acid and they've got their fatty acid composition on their website and what this is is what's inside of the oil and it's got 82.6% is oleic acid. So I do really like this um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, it is very light. I tried a few samples from a vat of other oils and some of them were very thick and because they are um, mainly unrefined, some of the oils, they have a very pugnant smell. This doesn't have a scent at all and he doesn't state whether it is refined or unrefined. So I don't think I would purchase this again from him or from a vat for, for two reasons. First of all, I, am, I, I do kind of question things that are made in China. Like I said, I know there's good companies, but there's also, it's, it's a very different way of doing business. And the second thing is I don't know whether it's refined or unrefined. So now I want to hear from you guys. If you've ever purchased anything from a vat, um, let me know what you purchased and what you thought of it. And also if you use camellia oil, let me know which of the three you use um, and what you use it for. Also, um, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to get more videos like this. I'll see you guys later.